MET to the adductor group, PIR, post isometric relaxation. So the adductors is a name we give to a group of mus muscles that have a common function to adduct the hip, so to bring the leg towards the midline of the body. We have pectineus, one of the shortest ones, gracilis, the longest, crossing both hip and knee. We then have adductor brevis, longus, magnus, minimus, and the obturator externus that all get involved in adduction. So this MET has an impact on all of those muscles, or indeed the tightest one that might be impacting the range of motion. In terms of anatomy and physiology, they all originate on the pelvis and cross and attach into the femur, or in the case of gracilis below the knee, at different points. And you can see the range from quite short, so we sometimes hear the short adductors used as a group, or long, so coming right down to the inside bottom of the femur. They're also deep to superficial, so for example, adductor brevis being quite deep, pectineus being quite superficial. So again, can have an impact on rotation in terms of the hip as well. So when we're doing our range of motion testing, we want to look at whether the leg is rolling in or out, for example. So how do we stretch this group? It's by bringing the hip into abduction, so taking the leg away from the body. Normal range of motion is about 45 degrees, but take note when your client does their active range of motion test and when you do passive. Does the leg want to roll in or out? What would happen if we correct this and hold it neutral? Will we put the leg on more stretch or target different muscles? So pay attention to what happens to your client's leg and let's take a look at how we would apply that technique to the client. We're going to do MET, now PIR in particular, for the adductors. So I need to remove the pillow because it's important that there's nothing in the way of movement. And because we will be moving sideways into adduction, it's important that I remove that pillow. So I'll just ask my client to lift her knees up and remove the pillow. If someone's knee was locking into hyperextension, I would keep a pillow under the passive leg that were not working. So first of all is going to be an active range of motion test, but again, very difficult motion for the client as that leg comes off the bed plus gravity that's very, very difficult movement to hold and create. So although we're asking our client to adduct the leg, we are supporting the leg and taking that downward weight so as not to compromise their body. Okay. In terms of body positioning as well, I think it's much, it's a, a more um, comfortable position to be on the outside of the leg rather than on the inside of the leg for the client. So head facing away, and then if your client's toweled, for example, if they are undressed because they've been having massage, then toweling becomes easier as well, and you're looking away from the client's body. So I'm going to take Danielle's leg, and then I'm just going to ask her, can you please adduct your leg, bring it towards me as far as is comfortable. So I'm just moving, and she's stopping around here. I can feel it's a very leathery end at this point, and also her leg is rotating out slightly. And I've got cramp. And she's got cramp. <laughs> so if you don't support that leg, really difficult uh, position to hold and to do for the client. So test that active range of motion and bring it back as quickly as possible. So things to note as well is, did the leg rotate as it was coming out, all giving you clues as to what's going on. Next step, passive range of motion test. So I'm watching her hip, I'm making sure there's no cheating going on, and I'm just passively seeing how far Danielle can go. So actually less far because I feel her leg wants to rotate when I get to this point. So we're going to do our PIR, post isometric relaxation. So I'm just going to bring that leg to the first barrier. Note, her hip is in neutral, I'm not bringing it into flexion because that will give a different result and target different muscles. So that first barrier is around here. Now, Danielle, 10% of your power, can you just abduct your leg? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, big deep breath in, out, and relax, let the leg go heavy. That's it. And just wait until you feel the client let go and slowly and smoothly move to that next barrier point. 
Hold for 10 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now contract inwards again. Meet my resistance. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Big deep breath in. Out and relax. Lovely. Let the leg go heavy. Let it switch off. So just coaching your clients to let go and moving to the next barrier, ensuring no cheek patterns are taking place. I feel we have room for one more here. So when you're ready, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, big deep breath in, out and relax, lovely. And let the leg go heavy. You've got 10 seconds to move, so just wait for that client to be fully relaxed and simply move to the end barrier point and hold that last one for 20 seconds. And once that's done, we want to retest. So can you bring your leg towards me, please, Danielle, supporting them all the way. Okay, much better, a lot less rotation. And then a passive range of motion test. Much better and a lot less rotation. It's letting me get further and it's also not rotating outwards. And place the client back safely on the bed.